we see the potential in this. And the thing that I think I kind of applaud myself for is the fact that, yeah, I've never done network marketing, but I was at least smart enough to take action and then do my homework. Because when you compare the product, the company, the timing, the comp plan, to all these other companies out there that have been successful with okay products, you really see the potential in this. You really see the potential in this. And I had a friend who told me a story about 10 years ago, and I never forgot this because I've tried to use this in business when I make decisions. And he told me a story about his dad. And his dad went to the University of Oregon. That's where I went to, went to school. His name was Robert. And uh, my friend Boomer said, I want my dad to tell you this story. I knew him for years. He never would tell me. He finally told me the story. I said, Robert, let me hear the story. He says, well, JJ, I made one huge mistake in my life, business-wise. I want to tell you about it. He said, when I was at the University of Oregon in the 1970s, I had a friend of mine that came up to me. And he said, hey, Robert, I got this great idea. I've been working on trying to redesign shoes. And I got this rubber material. And we can harden it by putting in a waffle iron. And then we take it out, and we're going to create a sole and create a shoe. And I got this great new runner. This is unbelievable. It's going to be Olympian and all that. But we're looking for investors. We're looking for some guys to invest 1000 bucks. I only need 10 guys, and I already got nine guys. Do you want to invest? Well, Robert said, what? A waffle iron? Rubber? <laughs> you got to be kidding. Well, the guy was Bill Bowerman. The runner was Steve Prefontaine, and the company was Nike. <laughs> so right away, I say to Robert, after I did, Robert, what did you learn from? Said, what was the lesson? He said, JJ, I did not make an informed decision. Bill was trying to get me to fall him back to his car. I should have fallen him back to his car. I looked at all the shoes that he was creating. He wanted me to go see this runner, but I didn't do that. I did not make an informed decision. Well, what's cool about that story is we all made an informed decision and we took action. Everyone in this room has taken action. The way I see it, and I don't have a lot of experience in this industry, but you do the math, I believe this is that next Nike, but in terms of network marketing. What you get out of it, how big your piece of the pie is going to be, is determine what you put into it from this day forward. You have to understand, too, this is not a sprint. It's an endurance race. You've got to pace yourself, but you've got to chip away at it every day. Try to do a little bit every day, making those calls, being on the call, doing the training, doing all those little things. Because if you've ever been in a marathon, which I haven't, if you ever run a long race, when you run a marathon, you know, you, you deal with all these obstacles. You're running, you get tired, you know, you jump over a log, you have to grab the water, or whatever may happen. But if you keep staying the course, you eventually get to the finish line. On this business, there's going to be obstacles. There's going to be challenges. But you have to keep going forward. Keep going forward. Stay the course. Because what's cool about this race, we all can win the gold medal. We all can get the prize. Take action. This is a rare opportunity for all of us. I would have never thought in a million years I would be doing this. But I'm so thankful. That guy put the nugget in front of me. <laughs> <laughs>